Drop. Coming into the big game. Here we go. Here it is. Ready? Kansas. What does Kentucky have to do against Kansas to secure a win in a big game against a big opponent? For sure. I got to – you got to be able, guards. Got to be able to guard. You know, Kyle even talked about it. He's if you're not guarding, you're not going to play, right? Um, I I think rebounding, having the biggest is going to be tough because we're going to be probably playing the best big man in the country. Like let's hands down, he he Hunter Dickerson might he's probably the best big man in the country that we're going to be playing. I'm sad he's not in a Kentucky Wildcats uniform, but but it is what it is. Um, but I, like I said, I I think uh, Kentucky they have a chance against Kansas. They got to rebound. They got to defend. And you cannot, you cannot start off slow, especially against Kansas. You can't. Yeah, I want to key in on that. If they can do the same things they did in this game, such as taking care of the ball, but most importantly, getting to the right start, you know, starting aggressive and making sure they put points on the board offensively, not yeah, trying for sure. to for play sure. from behind, can lead the game, you know, and start strong, then, you know, that's that's what will bring a dub, you know, against Kansas, just starting strong. That's the difference is, you know, they can't afford to be playing from behind 10, 12, 15 points versus Kansas. No, for sure. that I don't think that's going to be a, a good idea to do that. And and I, hopefully, like I said, these guys, they, they come out with a good start. Young teams, they're likely to do that. They, they just they just come out flat. You know, they might be a little bit nervous, you know, not, not right. used to things. But, you know, like I said, Kansas, I'm excited. that The bright star is going to show up in Kansas. And, and maybe maybe because they feel like, you know, it's Texas A&M Commerce. It's not the Aggies, you know. Right, right. They feel like, you know, this game doesn't really get you up on a what, – what day was this game played on a Wednesday or so? I think, it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it doesn't. you don't really get up and excited for this game. But, <laughs> you know, big game like Kansas, you got to – and a team that wants to be a championship national title contending team, you have to get up for every game. No, it doesn't for sure. matter who the team is. You might get, you know, seated at number one and come tournament time. Yeah. And it may be a smaller team like this. You got to be ready to knock these guys out. Of course, of course. And and I, 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 we hope to see that. Um, Kansas is the number one team. We hope that the, the, these guys are going to get up and be excited. I'm sure they are. I mean, it's in Chicago. You know, prime time at ESPN. Everybody's gonna be watching. Feel slighted. They number sixteen. Yeah, mm. so a little bit, a little bit disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna need some uh, players to step up. Antonio Reeves. Yeah. I mean, leading the Wildcats with twenty one points. I mean, will he be our best player this season? In your opinion? Um, it's a good question. Uh, I think, I think he'll be our best scorer. I don't know if he'll be our best player. Um, I think Antonio Reeves. Um, I think he he like I said the the best the best player is going to be very debatable because we just don't know yet. A lot of Coach Cal's team you don't know who's the best player until probably March. If you look right. at the past, I mean, I you can bring up a guy like Shea Gilgis Alexander, a guy who you know came into to to the program, um, didn't start for the first ten games, and then by the by March he was our best player. So there's a lot of a lot of things that we're going to see early on. It may not look like that by the end of the year, but. Antonio Reeves, I think he's going to be our leading scorer, but I don't know. I don't know who's going to be the best player as of yet. Maybe one of the guards, um, Wagner, Dillingham. Um, we just, we just don't know. Uh, if I had to guess, you know, the best player would be whoever's the most well-rounded player. That's normally, as he said, comes with you know playing with Coach Cal. It's normally the guy who's the most well-rounded, can play some defense, can can score on offense. It's not necessarily the guy who gives the thirty or thirty ball or or forty bomb. It's the guy who can. You know, maybe you drop 15 and makes the stops, the steals, the assists, does it all. That's normally the guys we normally see who are the best players on on a Coach Cal team when we think of, you know, P.J. Washington's second season and we think of, you know, Emmanuel Quickly's second season. These guys started to guard the best players. They made crucial plays in important games. That's, that's very true. So I want to know, you know, be honest, who you got in the Wildcats versus the Jayhawks Kentucky, Kansas, who's coming out with that W? I'm going to go with Kentucky easily. I'm going to go with Kentucky. <laughs> uh, not not just, you know, I just feel like, you know, I'm confident in our roster. I'm confident in the team. And, you know, I, I believe they'll get to a better start coming into this game. And, you know, I'll, I'll take the bet. You know, of course, like Mario said, we'd love to have Hunter Dickerson in, you know, a Wildcats jersey. But seeing that he's in the Kansas jersey and uh, I, coming off, you know, a different team with Michigan, I remember – they they played just even a risky game against Eastern Michigan, and I I know he has a couple flaws in in terms of him backing down to the basket, <laughs> and we don't have a big necessarily, but 
I think, you know, his defense is questionable. There is questions to his defense. This is the reason why he hasn't, you know, entered the NBA draft. So I think uh, we can we can definitely get we got a chance. against Kansas. We got a chance. I, I'm going to go with uh, uh, a little bit different way to put it, put at it. Um, uh, so we won by 40 the first game. Last game we won by 20. I'm gonna cut it. Ha- I'm gonna cut it in half once again. We're gonna win by ten hmm. for, the, for for Kansas. We're, we're gonna win by ten. We're gonna keep cutting it in half. <laughs> <laughs> so you so use a little mask right there. <laughs> yeah. Like who's gonna win? Uh, two plus two equals four. And, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm going with, man. I'm going with ten by Kansas. I think I think Kentucky they have a chance if they continue to do what they do. Um, don't turn over the ball. Um, we're gonna be need. We're gonna need a, a, a big game from the guards. I believe they got to be able to step up. And then Hunter Dickerson's gonna be a problem, but. Like I said, we're capable of doing it. We're a team that's capable of uh, right the floor. doing it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, the Wildcats return to action Tuesday, November 14th against Kansas in the Champions Classic. The game will be played in the United Center in Chicago. Uh, game time is 9.30 p.m. Eastern time and will be televised on ESPN. Hopefully, Kansas goes in there. Uh, and afterwards, they're going to be like, oh, Lord, we're not in Kansas anymore because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking uh, my pr- my prediction, uh, yeah. we're going to dominate them. Dominate them. How much we're we winning by, Fletch? We're winning, we're winning by uh, uh, 40. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we'll take it, man. Uh, that was a dub, man. 40, 15, 10, whatever. We'll take it.